Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video I'll be reviewing this. This is Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Galactic Odyssey Collection Dominus Criminal Pursuit. Now this set in the US is an Amazon.com exclusive which is scheduled to release in March of next year. However, this set has already been released in Southeast Asia and this copy comes from Hong Kong. So here it is in package. Let's get this guy out of the package. Here they are out of the package. It comes with his instruction sheet for both barricade and punch counter punch. It comes with this card with further information on the planet Dominus. If you wanna read it, you can take a pause of the video. It is multilingual. Some interesting things here though. It says here that the primary life forms are Dominions, Cybertronian refugees without the ability to convert. It also says inhabitants are small in size, transect their bodysuits required to protect themselves from the planet's harsh conditions. Now, I believe the term transector comes from the Japanese series Master Force. So interesting use of terms here. Comes with a weapon for barricade. I like the fact that it's painted in this dark gold. Two shoulder cannons for barricade. A weapon for punch counter punch. And the figures themselves. So here on the left, we have barricade. And on the right, we have counter punch, the Decepticon form of this character. Let's take a closer look at barricade first. So this won't be a full review of this figure because I've already reviewed this mold with Earthrise Smokescreen and Earthrise Ironhide and Prowl 2-Pack. I'll put a link to those reviews in the description below and in the card above. Let's get Barricade's weapons on. Again, I really like the gold for his gun. Um, part of me thinks it would have been cool if the shoulder cannons were gold. I don't know. What do you guys think? I like that the hood has this matte black or dark gray on it. I wish though that they applied that on more parts of the car though. We all know that this becomes the rear of the vehicle so it would have been nice if there was some red paint apps for the brake lights. So he is basically a repaint of Earthrise smokescreen with the exception of adding this piece that comes from Earthrise Prowl to make him a police car. So very nice. I really like this mold even though it has the hollowness on the legs. It's an unfortunate side effect of this mold, but uh, overall, very cool. Would have been nice if the shield on the door was the same that we saw in the live action Transformers movie with the Decepticon symbol in it. Let's take a closer look at Counter Punch here, put his weapon. Now this figure was released a few years back under the Prime Wars trilogy. I believe this was an Amazon.com exclusive as well. But the only difference is that figure also came with a Prime Master and that combiner hand that could be put on as armor on the chest. The major difference between this though is the color scheme of the figure. I do have the Prime Wars version of this character. So over here you can see it on the right and you can already see major differences between the two. First of all, the tone of blue is a lot lighter and the accents are yellow instead of orange. You also have painted rims on this figure while this one doesn't have any paint applied to it. Now, there could be a reason for the color scheme being this light blue and yellow. A while back, a Creon was released that looked like Punch Counter Punch, but the name given to it was Nightbeat. And you can see the colors are really Nightbeat's colors with the lighter blue and yellow. Take a closer look at the figure. Very cool head sculpt. It's coming out a little dark though. The paint app seems to be very cleanly applied, which is nice. Here's the back of the figure, which eventually becomes the Autobot side. Still very cool. If you missed out on this figure, you do have a second chance with this one. Moving on to articulation of this figure, the head can rotate 360, the arm can rotate 360 as well. The shoulder can go up this high. He does have bicep rotation and bend at the elbow this much. He doesn't have any wrist articulation. No waist articulation too. The leg can kick this much, bend at the knee this much. He can rotate at the thigh very little and no ankle tilt. In regards to articulation, one thing to keep in mind, this figure was made during the Prime Wars trilogy and articulation was not as much of a focus as it is now with the War for Cybertron trilogy figures. 
Okay, let's get him transformed to his Autobot mode. So here he is in his Autobot form, Punch. Now the story behind this encounter is that Punch gets discovered as a double agent and Megatron sends Barricade to hunt him down uh, on the planet Dominus. So that's the little backstory behind this encounter. Here he is with his very Optimus Prime-like looking head. <laughs> now for some comparison with the Prime Wars trilogy version, you can see pretty much the same in paint apps except for this part here. Um, he does have paint apps on the thighs and he does have paint apps here. Let's take a closer look at Punch. Again, he'll have the same articulation as Counter Punch, no ankle tilt. Would have been nice if they put some sort of piece here to kind of represent the toe. He doesn't have any toes in this form. He kind of does in this side, but not on this side. And for some size comparisons, here's the set next to Earthrise Optimus Prime and Earthrise Runabout. And just for fun, here is Barricade next to his Dotson brothers from the opposing faction. And here is Barricade next to Siege Barricade, and it looks like Barricade came a little bit taller. Okay, let's get these guys transformed into their vehicle modes. Here they are in vehicle mode and one thing you can immediately see is the size difference and you can see the differences in scale between the two punch counter punch is a much larger vehicle let's take a closer look at barricade first of course this part i have to paint that black it just sticks out I don't mind the rims being black on this police car for some reason. I think it looks a lot cooler that way. But like I said, with this matte dark gray, it would have been nice if more than just the hood had that effect. Maybe a spoiler. Now the weapons can attach to him in vehicle mode, like so. Or you can put the shoulder cannons on the gun here as well. But uh, that looks kind of silly, so I'm just going to keep it like this. As I said earlier, it would have been nice if the brake lights were painted. Uh, even the exhaust if it was painted silver. So, so a little bit of customization opportunities for this vehicle. I might paint the rims gold instead. I don't know. We'll see. Now that I think about it. Take a closer look at Punch Counter Punch in his vehicle mode. Now, in vehicle mode, it's really more apparent, in my opinion, that this is a throwback to Generation 1 at Nightbeat, because in vehicle mode, Nightbeat had this yellow stripe or paint apps on the bottom of his uh, car. The only thing missing is the flame effects, and if it had that, it would have a very similar design to Nightbeat's vehicle mode in Generation 1. I guess maybe that's why they didn't paint the rims red because it wouldn't match. To me, this is a good example of Hasbro merging that Creon Night Beat with Punch Counter Punch into one form. Now the gun can go on the hood like so. Doesn't look too bad. It's very cool that it does have the rear brake lights painted though, which Barricade did. And here's both versions of Punch Counter Punch in vehicle form. Let's see. From the side here. 
I don't know, I think I still prefer the Power of the Primes version over this one. Mainly because this is more true to the Generation 1 punch counter punch in terms of color scheme. And for some size comparisons in vehicle mode, here they are next to Siege Ironhide and Earthrise Sunstreaker. Now earlier I said this guy was a bit too big for scale. Now that I see him next to Sunstreaker, I kind of think uh, Barricade is just a small vehicle. He does seem to better scale with Sunstreaker than Barricade. Okay, let's get these guys back into robot mode for my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on the Dominus Criminal Pursuit box set. Well, first of all, the theme is kind of cool where Megatron discovers that uh, Punch is a spy and sends Barricade out to pursue him. So kind of cool way of pairing these two together. Now, far, as far as the figures are, um, Punch Counter Punch is probably the weakest of the two for me, mainly because I've already owned um, the set from the Power of the Primes time. And I like that set a lot better because of the G1 color scheme. Now, if you missed out on that, I still think this is a perfectly suitable substitute. In regards to Barricade, um, you know, I've reviewed that mold several times with Smokescreen, Prowl, and Blue Streak. Overall, I really like the mold. He does have the negatives with the hollowness on the legs. And for this particular uh, figure though, I do wish that the, t uh, the rear brake lights were painted and the rims, but you know, same with the rest before, they all had that issue, but this is actually easily correctable with some paint. So still very pleased with the set as a whole. Anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Follow us on social media and check out our Discord. Links in the description below.